Hello and welcome to my thatched Ukrainian miniature cottage. My son Jerry actually made the building and the roof. The roof took seven push brooms. He cut them up and tied them and made the thatched roof. As we approach the cottage, we can see that the father has been in the backyard and garden and he has picked a variety of vegetables for the family. The dog is not allowed in, so he must wait outside. Inside, we can see a spinning wheel, and yes, it actually spins, and I purchased it at the Chicago International Miniature Show. We have a spiritual corner, and all the holy pictures have an embroidered towel called a rushnik. And that is how the churches also have them. The candle is flickering. There is an old-fashioned threadle sewing machine. The family is getting ready for dinner and the little girl is putting sour cream into borscht which is a beet soup. We have stuffed cabbage rolls. We have a fish dish. And we have a little girl who is patiently waiting for her dinner. This particular glass or pitcher, if you will, is actually a bullet casing. Then the grandma is busy making pierogies. The table is showing pierogies that are cooked and uncooked, and Grandma is getting ready to cook up another batch. As we go around, we see the peach. The peach is a stove that also has an oven, and you can see that the light is flickering in there also. My son did all the flickering lights. In the winter, somebody could sleep on the top behind the peach to, for additional warmth. There's no running water, so this is a dry sink to prep all of the vegetables, fruit, or what have you. Behind the peach is a ladder. The ladder goes upstairs, and as you can see, the chimney of the peach is up there for additional warmth. There's a little baby's cradle tucked in under the eaves. There's a storage chest for additional fabrics and clothing. A little boy is busy putting on his boots and the cat is waiting to pounce. There's an instrument ready to be played. The bed is an old fashioned bed and it is actually made using ropes underneath the mattress. As we go around the attic, we see additional clothing. We see another storage chest. And we see another bed tucked in under the eaves. Essentially, the entire building was built by my son. And I made most of the clothing the furniture, and the food items. And of course, I put it all together. Thank you for coming and visiting my thatched Ukrainian cottage.